So that's how you handle solving null pointers using some of the ideas around maybe. So there's a variety of ways to different solve it. I've just shown you the three that have worked for me in JavaScript. Other languages which have more formalized things around maybes and types can help, but you're still gonna have the same problem with arrays and parsing JSON from third-party sources that you can't control. So even if you're using something like Flow or TypeScript or even Elm, you're still gonna run into the concept of maybes because once you get outside of your programming language, you just can't guarantee that the data you're getting is good. And so maybes guarantee that you won't have null pointers. Situations that occur are from object access, where you're out accessing objects, even with the type language, you can never guarantee, even if you spell it right, that the data you're getting is legit, especially from JSON or even from a file. And from arrays, you can't guarantee that there is something at a particular index. It could be undefined and you might just misspell it or the object you get is not the shape that you were expecting. The three ways to solve those problems is first, dealing with actual object access and array access, you use something like Git. It's either lens from something like Lodash or Vue from something like Ramda. There's a lot of other options. Git is just the simplest it guarantees that you can do a deeply nested access and whether it's there or not, you'll get an undefined back or the actual value. It'll never throw a no pointer from a spellings or from an object that doesn't quite match up with that dot property, for example. And on arrays, you can do the index to verify that there is or is not something there, but even more important, you can dot. So very, very flexible and helpful syntax and using template strings, if you want, you can even inject dynamically into this if you're using like arrays or loops, for example, right? So it supports both, which is great. So that's how you handle deep access null pointers. When you're dealing with default values, you wanna, instead of getting an undefined back, an undefined is okay, but then it can negatively affect functions down the stream that we're not expecting an undefined and not doing these really strict get or maybe checks. They're actually expecting a string or a value. And even if you're using type language at runtime, they can't really enforce it in JavaScript. So you need to provide some kind of default value of the same type, as well as something that could hint as to where or what is actually going wrong. In this case, our first name using git or, we can provide a default value. So if it doesn't find it there or find something that's wrong in the path, it gives you a default value, which is great. And then in a maybe scenario, you can also use from nullable. And that way you have a maybe value, which is flexible. Other people can deal with maybes. Otherwise, you can just get the value out of it with a a default value using get or else. And then finally, when handling nothing is there, maybes allow you to deal with that scenario. So from a from noble, it'll give you a maybe back, and then you can transform that data. You can react to if that data is there and then further validate it. Otherwise, if I have no data, I can react to that. So sometimes you have the three scenarios where you get a value that's there, but you need to inspect it more, or maybe you need to parse it more, or even validate that it's actually okay. So just because a value is there doesn't mean that that value is okay. And so this match with allows you to create any function you want to further transform and deal with that data. So these are the basics of maybes, and these are the three ways that you can safely access your data and get away from null pointers. Hope that helps. And again, my name is Jesse Warden. You got other questions, hit me up in the comments. Love to hear from you. Thanks for your time.